Hey guys, today I want to tell you about one of our very popular and very interesting tray systems, the TR15 and the shutter release, which is called SR10. They're both great, they work together, and I'm going to tell you what they look like and how you're going to mount them together. So yeah, I mean, this is the tray, it's called the TR15 great name isn't it i mean for a tray but it's really a very nice tray when you look at it it has rubber handles it is very solid and uh, if maybe i can even change uh, perspective here as you can see here it's not easy to uh, bend the handles so even if you have long arms they are very solid it's a system that can be adjusted here due to the uh, screws here so it can be quite long and it can also be very narrow and it doesn't really matter if you use a GoPro like on this one where you put a GoPro mount here uh, or if you use it for a larger compact system. Uh, it works on compact systems and small mirrorless housings. So as you can see on this one, uh, there is a flash trigger sitting here, not a flash trigger, a trigger release. And it's a universal trigger release. So you mount it on the handle and then you're able to, um, as you can see here, you're able to uh, exposure quite easily with your finger, <laughs> pointer finger, um, without having to try to reach over the tray and into the, uh, the camera housing and then expose it that way. So that's really a neat feature. And this one is universal, so you can actually take it uh, and adjust it uh, to just about any camera system there is. So as I said, there are two different of them. And uh, what I'm going to show you now is how they look when you get them. So as you can see here, they come in two boxes. You don't need the, the trigger here, particularly not if you have a GoPro. So in the box is a tray system and some handles, and they are not put together yet. Um, we have actually had this developed ourselves because we took uh, an operator. This is a Spark Cave system and we took the the handles from one system and then we had them modify the tray system from another system and then we ended up with a completely new product number they had a tr5 and a tr10 system before now this one is called the tr15 so it comes with arm ball attached to it and uh, they're both here there are two screw holes here so when you unpack it you can see here with the screws they're quite easy to uh, mount and you can see it comes with two uh, housing screws here well, as well, a quarter inch 20. It is rubber padded here, so even if you have to take one of the screws off, because your housing is just center, uh, center um, held, I mean, if there's just one hole in your housing, so you need to put it here, you can just move that one. There's a small thread hole here, you can screw it in and you would be able to adjust it here. And that's normally not nice because then your, your camera will rotate on the tray when you use it but because this is rubber it actually sits quite firmly but it's always best if you have a housing that has two screw holes and as mentioned before there is uh, the possibility of extending it quite a lot and i can show you that here so you just unscrew these ones here with the tool that's in included and as you can see how far it got i can actually take this one out as well and you will not believe how long it comes. Let me show you here. So, quite long, um, 40 centimeters almost. Right? This is how long it is. So, anyway, um, it's a nice system. And once you have mounted it, you're able to add the flash trigger. And the flash trigger, let me just clean this mess up here. I'll put that over here. And let's go back to this camera. You can see here the uh, flash trigger. Uh, to some people, that's a little bit complicated because this can be a puzzle. There's two different screws. There's longer screw systems in here, and that all depends on how you need to mount it. So you see, you put that one there on the handle, and you expose it like that, you see? But you can unwind this one, and you can turn this bit upside down so that the pat the button the, 
the pressure lever is going to be down here and that's nice if it's a much smaller system that one can be adjusted and that one can be adjusted down to here and then you can also adjust it here you can unscrew these ones and you can mount it back and forth like that um, the other thing is you can take off this screw there's a shorter screw included here in the package as you can see here if you take that screw off you can take the extension part off here away meaning you can move uh, you can move the pad, the, the, the plug, the pressure plug further into the handle and even you are able to, let me just show you here so you can see how it's actually mounted as you can see here, when you, if you loosen these two screws you can, you can, you can uh, move the whole, the whole piece back and forth like that and as you can see here on that system I have already removed the, the extension part here so you could actually end up having a system that sits all the way out here and still reach the exposure button depending on what camera system it is we haven't really come by any uh, cameras that we cannot uh, make this work on I mean somehow we always manage to twist it or turn it upside down and be able to uh, to fit it but obviously the system will not work on a GoPro that's simply too small a unit you can see the, 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 the trigger will not reach all the way over there uh, and then and then I would might actually be surprised I think I will I will take that back I <laughs> it's embarrassing but I've never tried it because I never thought it would work but I can see it would work I think I pretty much think you can just about um, use it on a GoPro camera housing as well and why wouldn't you why wouldn't they have made it long enough big enough for fitting on a GoPro and that's very nice because you can then turn it on and off just like this uh, just as well as you can here on this system so that's the TR15 tray system with the SR10 uh, trigger uh, trigger release system and uh, obviously you can find the link in the video below to where you can get your hands on it thanks